Visit downtown Batesville where the past is cherished and the future is now. Downtown is uh, the heart of the city. It is, you know, it is your community. It starts and ends with Main Street. Walking down Main Street is like taking a step back in time. Batesville is the oldest existing city in Arkansas. Its rich history dates back to the days of Indians and fur traders. Downtown Batesville has been designated as a historic district. Many of its buildings date back to the 1800s. A mural next to the Independence County Courthouse takes visitors back in time to see the two earlier courthouses. But while Batesville celebrates and cherishes its history, it is also a town looking to the future. Main Street is in the midst of an exciting revival with new businesses, Thank you. Thank you, we'll be back. several restoration projects, and an optimistic outlook. Main Street Batesville is kind of interesting. Uh, it, the town is almost 200 years old. And if you think about all the people that have lived in this area, most of them have probably been on these sidewalks and on this street walking up and down. So, I mean, it's people, our ancestors, and that's a lot of people and a lot of history. Main Street Batesville is very special because it has a home feeling to it. It brings home those feelings of growing up in a quiet atmosphere where there's bustle and um, friendliness and a lot of um, hospitality amongst all the, all the folks that come here. It's starting to come back, you know, it died down for several years and now we're starting to get more businesses coming in and it's exciting. While others may want to leave the history behind, some people, such as Pastor John Mark, are working hard to preserve it. I mean, we felt like it was what God called us to do. Um, when we came, uh, when I first moved here to the community and uh, I saw the building, someone said, wouldn't that be neat if something could be done to save that building? And uh, I thought they were crazy. <laughs> There's no way. The Landers Theater building leads the way to the future. The Landers is Arkansas's oldest existing movie theater building, dating back to the early 1900s. It fell into disrepair in the late 1900s and almost faced extinction until the Fellowship Bible Church purchased and restored the Landers. It now stands as a powerful symbol of what a community can accomplish. We thought, what would it be like if we could go to the Landers, fix it up, um, make it a place that we use and they use because you know churches they just use a building on uh, we just use a building on Sunday morning for the most part and the rest of the week it kind of just sits there and we're thinking what, what could we do more than that and so that kind of started attracting us to that idea that maybe we could use the building but it could be something that other people could use as well so with all of the optimism and rich history it makes me wonder about Main Street of the past we went through a, a period of time probably in the late 1990s where we had a lot of empty buildings and it kind of looked like Main Street was was dead when and then we were seeing a revival you know and there's hardly any empty buildings now so there's been a lot of different businesses come, come and go. Baseville Main Street was a lot different they had different shops here there was a um, there was there was a dress shop on the across the street there were um, Christian bookstore on the corner. There were different shops now, but um, than there are now. But um, I think that the new business that are coming about will also expand the area and help the area prosper. For a, an older generation, it's nostalgia. You know, they remember when Main Street on Saturday was the place to go. Where they'd come down. Everybody came to town, and they'd park, and they'd walk up and go in every store, and they would see people that you know that they didn't see normally, you know, times have changed, whereas, you know, it's, it's a smaller world now. All of this talk about history is great, but what about fun? Well, me and my fellow classmates didn't have to search long to find it.
The downtown area also includes a beautiful pocket park. People gather in the park when the weather is nice to relax, visit, and view the interesting art. Concerts are held there frequently. Downtown also includes the Batesville Arts Council Gallery, a new gaming center, several antique stores, the Paper Chase Bookstore, lots of cool shops, and the Cinnamon Stick Coffee House and Sandwich Shop. Located in a building that dates back over 130 years, Batesville probably needs in the Main Street area a little bit more variety. You know, we've got you know three or four antique stores. We have pawn shops. We, we have more restaurants coming in. That's good. Um, you know, more clothing stores wouldn't be terrible. You know, just a wider variety of stuff. I'd like to see an art center here in which people can go in and look at various art exhibits, plus have a lot of different classes, have an auditorium where we can uh, provide music and readers theater and different types of events there, as well as a place where people can go to, um, to develop new areas of interest as well. I think it has a lot to offer already, but we could use more parking on Main Street. The past is important to Batesville. It is preserved, studied, and honored. But the future is even brighter as new businesses open, fun activities seem to be popping up everywhere, and people embrace an exciting new vision of opportunity and creativity. to see Main Street flourish and have wonderful businesses that people want to come to and visit. I think it's going to progress and I think we're going to see more traffic down here and more tourists and I think it's going to really boom.